In this video, I am going to explain custom format option. When your concept clear about custom format, you can use this format according to your requirement. Watch complete video. At the end, your concept is clear. I am Farhan. You are watching Digi Mastery channel. This is Microsoft Excel series. Let's start. For custom format, first we required to open format cell dialog box. There are three ways to open format cell dialog box. First we go to click on this drop down arrow and go to last option and click on more number format. You can see format cell dialog box open. Second way is to open format cell dialog box. You can see on number group button right corner. When you click this button, you can see the format cell dialog box. Third way is with shortcut key, which is control plus one press on your keyboard you can see format cell dialog box you can know this all these options i clear to you in last video i provide this video link on i button click here to see that video in this video i explained to you custom options first you learn the concept then use these option. You know that when you open Excel file, all active cell format is general by default. There is some format that apply automatically. When I enter number, you can see here general format. If I enter text, you again see that general format. If I enter date and press enter, you can see date format show here. If I enter a number and add percentage sign and press enter, you can see percentage format in number group. You can see that some format Excel sense that automatically but some format cannot read. So if we make our own format, we use custom format. There are some shortcut keys for custom formatting. You can see that shortcut key symbol values. Click on this cell and if I press control plus shift plus tilde you can see this is general format and if I go here and press control plus shift plus at the rate of mock you can see this convert to time format and if we press control plus shift plus hash this value change to date format for currency format shortcut key is control plus shift plus dollar sign you can see the currency format if we convert this value to percentage we press on our keyboard control plus shift plus percentage sign and control plus shift plus 5 convert this value in scientific number we press shortcut key control plus shift plus 6 button on our keyboard that value change to scientific number please practice these shortcut keys to change the format what is number format let's check it go to format cell window click on custom you can see number format some format are small and some are long format. Copy this format and go to our file 
and paste here. Here you can see four partition. First partition is this and second is this. That semicolon separate them. If we count partitions, partition 1, semicolon, partition 2, semicolon, partition 3, semicolon and partition 4. Now you see this format and partitions. This is custom format. That is long custom format. Use of this type of custom format is very less, about 1%. This is very easy. If you watch complete video, you can easily understand this format. You can see in custom format there are some characters like dollar sign, static, hash, underscore and that is portion 1, portion 2, portion 3 and portion 4. Portion 1 is positive number, portion 2 is for negative number and portion 3 is for 0 and uh, portion 4 is for text. First we understand these character types 0. Number of zeros show falsely. You can see some values after decimal point. This value have 3 digits. When this have 2 digits Select these cells and open format cell window box and click on custom options. You can see sample also show this value. And here you can see general. Remove this. Type here 0 dot. Here you see decimal and then we type 0 0. You can see in sample 16.18 press OK. You can see this value after round up by one number to 7 it convert 8. You know this mathematical rule. After decimal if value is 5 or above it convert number and add one number. If less than 5, then remain same, but decimal place is equal. Now move to the next format hash. Show blank on less data. When we use hash, it show blank on less data. Example, select cells and go to custom option. In format cell, here you write hash dot hash and hash again. You see in sample press OK. You can see this format also round up this value. Difference between zero format and hash format explain with the example. In zero format if I enter 16.1 and press enter. It shows 16.10 0 falsely enter. If I enter in hash format 11.1 .1 and press enter, you can see 0 not enter falsely. But here in this format 0 enter automatically. Now move to the next character that is question mark. Visual alignment maintenance. You can see these values. Apply custom formatting. Here we enter 0. You see decimal dot again. Enter 0 again 
and then enter question mark. Here you can see alignment. In last, after decimal, has second position is empty, but align with these values. Separator for thousand and million. First click on this cell which have 1000 value, go to format cell dialog box, click on custom formatting, remove journal, now here we enter 0. Now enter comma, you can see 1 appear here. Now here enter inverted comma, start, write K and inverted comma close and press OK. You can see 1K is showing in this cell instead of 1000. Now here if you enter 2000 it shows 2K. Now in this cell must write value 1000 or above. For million select this cell and press Ctrl 1 go to custom and type here 0 comma if we want million then enter again comma here and then write M in inverted comma start and close press ok you can see 1 million put another value it also show in million note here if we enter 1 and k from keyboard Excel automatically sense that 1K is text and we cannot use in calculation. So that's why this custom format use this 1K is a number. We can use it for calculation. For example, here we apply some formula and press enter. You can see the result. Now move forward to another character that is underscore that is used to add a space in section. Enter some value here 16.146, 12.143, 10 10.2 and one negative value minus 5-4. Select cells, press Ctrl-1, go to custom. Now here we write, you know, first section is for positive number, second is for negative number. For positive section, we enter 0.0, .0. you see also here, now, now here we want space. For space we use underscore and close bracket. For second section you know there is negative number. To break first section we enter semicolon here. We want negative number in bracket. Bracket start enter 0.0, .0 bracket close press ok. You can see what is special. After positive section, there is space that can align with this bracket. Now move forward to color. We can add color by using custom format. This value select and go to custom format. First section is positive. 0.0, .0 semicolon break section second section box bracket start write red 
बॉक्स ब्रैकेट क्लोज पैरेंथिसिस स्टार्ट 0.0 पैरेंथिसिस क्लोज प्रेस ओके नाउ यू कैन सी नेगेटिव नंबर इन ब्रैकेट एंड इन रेड कलर फॉर पॉजिटिव इन ग्रीन अगेन सेलेक्ट एंड गो टू कस्टम बॉक्स ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट राइट ग्रीन ब्रैकेट क्लोज एंड प्रेस ओके यू कैन सी पॉजिटिव इज ग्रीन एंड नेगेटिव इज रेड नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कस्टम फॉर्मेट नाउ मूव फॉरवर्ड टू एड सम यूनिट विद द डिजिट्स enter some value here select cell go to format custom right here zero start inverted comma kg inverted comma close and press okay now you can see kg this is number we can apply here formulas because this is number for example if we apply some formula you can see result i hope you will understand the custom formatting concept this is microsoft excel series in next coming videos we can use custom formatting that can increase your knowledge Now I hope you will enjoy this If you learn something new please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Ask any question and suggestion please write in comments Thanks for watching I will see you in the next video